What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and in a surprise move overnight, Apple did update their MacBook lineup. So this was a little surprising. We expected this to happen at Worldwide Developers Conference. Instead, we have it now. So there's a lot that's changed, but at the same time, not that much. In this video, I wanna clarify what the changes are, what the new features are, basically give you a good idea of what happened, even though Apple made no official announcement. Now, I know everybody is waiting for the MacBook Pro refresh, but there is a specific market that actually uses these or likes these they're more useful than an ipad pro for sure they're very light the display isn't as good but at the same time this doesn't need to have everything that a macbook pro has it's a very light thin laptop although i know the price sometimes you just want more for your money so what did apple change this time around obviously the biggest notable difference is that rose gold color option unfortunately there's no usb-c second port to be found no thunderbolt nothing cosmetic it's all internal so the biggest internal change is the adoption of sixth generation intel core m skylake generation now this brings at least one of the macbooks up to date out of the whole lineup the rest are still using haswell processors now with this new generation basically you get more efficiency more power slightly better graphics you know built-in graphics obviously there's no separate graphics chip on this macbook and better battery life as it is more efficient possibly less heat as we know this macbook doesn't have any fans so the less heat that it produces the better officially the graphics are 25 percent faster we don't know about the sixth generation intel core chip we don't know how much faster that is we'll have to test that out but this does also include new faster 1866 megahertz ddr3 ram i was disappointed to learn that apple didn't put ddr4 ram in this a lot of people are complaining about this but the reason is because apple uses lp ram in their macbooks that's not supported by the intel core m chip so it's not going to happen but apple did boost the speed to 1866 megahertz versus 1600 of the last one it should be a nice little increase along with the new processors and the intel 515 graphics update it should make for a nice speed boost nothing too crazy but definitely about 25 to 30 percent faster and another welcome change apple did upgrade the storage to pcie spec bringing it up to the rest of the macbook lineup so you'll have a nice little boost there as well internally it's a solid update apple made a lot of great upgrades definitely bringing it up to date but dang did we really have to wait so long and now you're definitely going to get more for your money now but it's still a little bit pricey that's for sure now thanks to more efficient internals and a larger battery the battery life is one hour longer going from 39.7 watt per hour to 41.4 watt per hour spec and this is the kicker there is no thunderbolt 3. now thunderbolt 3 is the future basically much much faster speeds and available in usb c ports none to be found on this macbook though and the camera remains at a paltry 480p spec i mean what is this i expected to take better pictures with my macbook and apple is just giving me this old outdated camera come on next generation let's bump it up to 720 so i could take better pictures but anyways guys that's just about it so that concludes this little overview of the new macbook once i get my hands on one i'll have a full review i was actually at the apple store earlier today but they didn't have any just yet they will soon so new colors much much faster better battery life what's not to like it's definitely more worth the money now but is it still worth the price tag you know i don't know the specs for a processor are all the same you know pretty much it's a very very minor subtle update i could see why apple wouldn't release this or announce it in a keynote because there's just not too much that's changed but the real updates will be with the macbook pros the mac pro all the mac lineup man i'm so so excited for that and with worldwide developers conference being on june 13th we don't have long to wait 53 days now i'm counting every hour so stay tuned for the full unboxing and review coming up here soon thanks so much for watching guys have a great day peace